Hey backers, Rylan here. I've got an exciting new feature to tell you about. We've added SnapFit to the printer. Back near the beginning of the campaign, we had Peachy Printer 18. It was really easy to build and really quick to build. It took only about an hour to build. But since then, we've done a lot of R&D and we basically had to add a lot of new features to the printer to solve various artifacts that P18 had. And that made the printer more complex and it started taking really quite a long time to build it. So basically SnapFit is a solution to the uh, long build time that all these new features added to the printer. Another thing that we noticed when building P27 was that if you made a mistake with Crazy Glue, you were pretty much stuck with that mistake forever and you might end up having, end up having a printer that doesn't work. So SnapFit really solves that too. I, I kind of like it for yet another reason. You know, you can take it apart, which means it's really upgradable. And that's important because one of the concepts that we really focus on during the entire R&D here at Peachy is keeping this printer something that's hackable and modifiable. And so if you haven't glued everything together, then you're actually left with a base printer that you can change and modify. And it's, it's very flexible to have these things fitting together so nicely with no glue. We had been tossing around the idea of making the printer snap fit for quite some time. I, I finally just thought one, one night, I'm just going to try to make something snap fit. So I just sort of took two pieces, uh, two files, and, and uh, just kept kind of modifying them in OpenSCAD, seeing if I could get something to snap together. And you know what? It, it just worked really well. So after, after trying it out, I basically just walked up to Eric and said, hey, check this out. And, you know, click, and it's like, okay. Uh, We've got a new goal here. Let's make the whole printer do this. Ryland came up with the task of making it snap together. Um, he kind of showed me one way he thought of doing it. And I kind of took that one idea, kind of figured out what actually is there that's useful, like what uh, actually makes it snap well. Um, like it needs to, you need to control where it flexes and uh, how tight it is when it's done, when it's in place. And it took a lot of uh, really fine work of uh, making sure that it snaps just the way I wanted. We worked on it together, but uh, I think that Eric in the end ended up doing the bulk of the work of actually applying snap fitting features to the printer. And uh, it's just wonderful the way that he's coded it so that you can actually, uh, in the OpenS CAD code, you can say, you know, there, there's, uh, there's variables like tightness uh, and tightness in different directions. And uh, it's, it's really quite flexible code. With the snapping together in PB28, um, it's hard to screw it up. Pretty much if, if it fits in, then it's line, everything lines up and uh, you didn't glue it in the wrong spot. And if, if you did make any mistakes, you can just redo, flip it around and get, put it the right way. As we were turning the whole printer into something that snaps together, we also found improvements to be made in the simplicity of the design. So um, when I had th something switch from gluing to snapping together, I'd come up with a new idea of how to make it simpler. And uh, I could reduce a couple parts. And it, that also made it quicker to build. It seems like uh, now that we have the snap fit together, it would have been uh, quite the task to build the printer without, without it. Um, there's a lot of things to go wrong on the old one. In P PP27, we found that the second mirror had to be longer than the first one. And uh, that gave us some problems as uh, the second mirror weighs more than the first one. And that also makes construction uh, a little bit harder because you have two different parts that you can mix up. 
And uh, with PP28, uh, we made both mirrors the same size so that uh, it's easier to build and uh, they both have the same properties. In PP27, we had on the thread a carbon rod that held all the mirror magnets and the dampener together. So it was kind of difficult to get all those things on this one piece and uh, everything lined up and uh, working properly. So with PP28, I instead changed it to a piece of sheet plastic that's cut to, uh, to have a spot for the magnet, a spot for the dampener, and a spot for the mirror that uh, it's obvious where they go and you don't have to measure out where each spot is. It just uh, tells you where it is just by looking at it. So to wrap up this update, I'd really love to finish off by talking about the concepts that are really important here at Peachy. Things like hackability, modularity, and kitability. These are some of the underlying things that we think about all the time while we're doing our R&D. We're not just trying to build a great printer, we're trying to build a great community. And the community is gonna need something that they can all be a part of building. So we're constantly keeping that in mind. And SnapFit is really great for that. Now, having said that, I'd like to touch on one of the things that we didn't like about SnapFit. We thought maybe because everything snaps together and just goes just where it's supposed to, and you're not really gluing anything, maybe people will be less likely to move something over and glue it into a spot that might be better. So I just want to take this opportunity to say, you know, everyone, don't be afraid to sort of break off the snapping pieces and glue something in a different spot and really hack away this printer to make it something better. It's just amazing how fast it's improving now that there's a community. And I, I can't wait to see all of the modifications that you guys are going to do. It's really exciting to me. Okay, we'll catch you next time.